good day everybody today is literally a breath of fresh air it is so beautiful outside 70 degrees sunny completely springish weather i love it it's so fantastic we have a uh, photo shoot today we're um we're doing photography for a school so we're going to be photographing young wrestlers and i don't really know how much i can uh, show of it on the vlog because whenever you um work with kids and young adults it's always you know like but i think i can show some of it and especially uh, what blani is intending to do because then in a few days i would like to follow up with her final artwork that's going to come out of it so i think it might be interesting for some of you to see uh what we're going to be facing today the task at hand and the final result in a few days so it's like this video today and then there's going to be a follow-up in a few days sounds good okay let's do it then oh and by the way uh why was it important that the weather got so much better because it was a surprise i'll show you what it was like this morning i specifically took the drone out i actually flew from this very spot where i'm standing right now so this is the footage from the drone this morning look at all this gloom it was impossible you couldn't see anything there was so much fog in the air that when the drone came back it was all wet it had like a lot of moisture on it and i was actually afraid something's gonna happen to it it's not gonna work anymore but it works just fine dji man are you enjoying this are you enjoying this doggy are you enjoying this weather you love being outside don't you are you enjoying this weather? The dog is always helping. Lock and load. The school is about an hour away from here and I wish this wasn't sunset time because we have to start driving very soon and the day is so beautiful this is like the most beautiful day of 2018 so far I would be getting the drone in the air right now and instead I have to spend an hour in the car and completely mess this sunset but if this weather holds up I anticipate another dronorama tomorrow at sunrise are you guys with me dronorama at sunrise tomorrow I hope we can do that are you with me? So this is all we need? I think so. This is what a real American high school looks like. If you guys are curious, there was a basketball game going on, so I took a look in the room for you. So there's a uh, bit of an emergency. Yeah. The other problem is that the umbrella clamp was with those controllers. So you know what? We don't even have a umbrella clamp, David. That I might that that I might have in the other bag, so okay. we, we I'll I'll look. We may be good on that. I would, okay. Do you see a, a place close to the? I batteries, see civilization or? here. There's Lowe's and there's other stuff. So yeah, I'll get batteries without a problem. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. bye. The problem basically is we left a few uh, key pieces of equipment at home and specifically controllers that trigger the lights uh, without those we can't really uh, take any pictures wait i don't have no yeah i do have money okay insert cash or select payment type
All right, so the story is we have off-camera lights, those are strobes that you need a controller for, little controller that you put on top of your camera and that's how you fire the lights. And those controllers were left behind in the house, one of us, they were all ready to go together with the batteries for the cannon flash, the cannon flash that we can use to trigger those off-camera lights so we didn't have batteries for the cannon flash either. That's why I had to come here to a nearby low store, get the batteries. Now I got the batteries. I'm running back while Blani is getting ready, setting up all the equipment in there. Uh, luckily, the team was still in training when we arrived, so we can still do this with almost no delay. Okay, I just parked. Poor Blani is all stressed out about it. I just gave her the batteries, uh, so we're good. She's all stressed out about this and, and I have to say this kind of doesn't faze me really. I don't know. If, I mean, I, I did a lot worse stuff at weddings. Well, why talk about that? But uh, it's just logistics, you know, things happen. As long as you can remedy the problem and still get the job done, we're fine. Now I better go in there and help. So this shoot is going on in the background. I'm gonna uh, talk to the camera in a room full of people now. Um, I wanna show you guys our setup and what we ended up doing with those lights. This is our main light. You can see Bonnie working here. And in the back we have these two lights set up which are basically providing backlight. And this is how the photos are coming out. So it's, uh, it's a very simple setup, but it's nice quality of light and the backlighting provides some separation from the background and also it's going to be easier to edit these photos this way because everything's super consistent. All the lights are of course set up to manual power, the camera is all in manual, so there is no auto exposing or auto anything here, everything's manual. It's very loud in that room, so I uh, walked out for a second. For those of you who know something about photography, you can see the main flash on her camera facing forward. But the thing is that flash isn't really illuminating anything. Because the main light, the flash that is uh, shooting into the umbrella is uh, at full power. So it's definitely overpowering that little flash on the camera. That flash has no effect on the look of the photo. It only is used to trigger the alien bees lights in the background because the alien bees lights are triggered by light only, by the flash itself. So what I was saying is uh, I ran out of space on the card that I was using in the camera. You know what my problem is? My problem is I never format these cards. I only put them in the camera and I keep recording from the previous day. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now it's after the event because when I ran out of space on the card, I got busy with assisting, but now everything's packed up, we're going home. And I can't wait to show you when these pictures are processed, what came out of them, because I know this kind of looked like not much when we were shooting, but that's the thing. When you see them processed and when you see the final composite of all the guys together, uh, what Blani was planning to do from the beginning, just wait till you see it, okay? It's not gonna be in this episode, it's gonna be in one of the next ones. So you guys have to wait for it and that's how I hook you up. So you keep watching this show. Thank you so much. <laughs> I run out of things to say. So basically we're going to set this up, shoot the photos and no one's going to know there was a problem until they watch this if they do so that's it